Scott. You were wonderful. That was nothing. I could have bulldogged two of them. You were great, Rod. You're safe now. Let me help you down. My, you're strong. For a boy, I mean. Boy? Well, I'm as strong as any man in Alamo County. Oh, Rod, you haven't grown up yet. Who hasn't? Didn't I just bulldog that steer? can I throw a rope and ride bronc? What else can a man do? Nothing, I guess. You're just perfect, Rod. Rod! Rod! He's coming back! Get up yourself. You better take this. What's that? A little present from my mother. Kenny! That's for your mother. Well, haven't you got one for me? Oh. Howdy, Mr. Larkin. Howdy, Mr. Kenny. Yeah, how was the kettle business? Fair to me, son. Ooh, fine. Oh, oh, Margie. By the way, uh, there's a bond dance down at Farley's Ranch this evening. I thought perhaps you'd like to go if you could find somebody to take you. Take it. Can I take her? That's an idea. What do you think, Marge? I think that's fine. <laughs> well, you better get ready then. It's a long drive. Excuse me, Rod. Well, can I offer you a drink of liquor, Mr. Kemp? Liquor? Oh, or perhaps you don't indulge this early. A little too early for this climate. Well, I say, oh, of course, you, you know this country much better than I do. Uh, sit down. Uh, oh, by the way, Mr. Kemp, I wonder if, uh, if I could trouble you for a little advice. You know that bottom land of mine uh, down near the creek? Well, I'm turning it into a hay meadow. Uh, what kind of grass would you use? Red top or blue stem? That barn's a little too wet for red top. But if you put it in blue stem, I don't think you can go wrong. Oh, so I figured. But out here, before I do anything, I always like to ask a man who knows. And I feel that I can bank on your advice. You know, you camps are the very best neighbors I ever had anywhere. Moved around quite a bit, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Always hope to settle down. But things go wrong after a spell. So I have to pick up and move on. Well, don't worry. You'll make a go of it this time. Who? You have friends here. Yeah. Well, if it was just myself, I wouldn't mind. You see? Oh, buddy. Hello, Dad. What you doing, Rod? Just talking to your dad, bud. Got your old ball on knife? Sure. Let's play mumble pig. I can't fool around with those kid games anymore, bud. Then can I have the knife? Sure. But give that back to him. Well, he said he didn't want it anymore. <laughs> you can have it. Gee, Marty, you look pretty. Ooh, well, rig's all ready. Now you take good care of my daughter, Mr. Kemp. You can depend on me, Mr. Orkin. 
Say, we'd better hurry. I have to stop by my place and change my clothes. Oh. Now, you'll be sure to have a good time, Margie. <laughs> good night, Dad. Good night. Well, bud, old boy, guess won't be long before you'll be taking some gal to a barn dance, eh? <laughs> Oh, 
Don't be sore at me, Margie. I didn't mean to break up the dance. But after what he did to partner, I just couldn't help it. I'm not sore at you, Rod. Good night. Good night. Oh. Well, you're back early, Margie. But we had a grand time. Good. Uh, Dad. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rod wants me to marry him when he grows up. Early. Do you want to? Well, I don't know of any reason why you shouldn't. Good night, Dad. Good night, Margie. Well, we've come as far as that fella said. This must be the place. Don't look like much. It won't cost us nothing to stay with Uncle Joe a while, will it, Pop? I never see him so poor I couldn't make a piece of money out of him. <laughs> Tickled to death to see us? Why, uh, I've been sort of expecting you sooner or later. Oh, I just couldn't stay away any longer. It's been ten years since you even wrote to me. Not a very brotherly way to act, was it? Oh, it's not like you was, my brother. Same thing. I'm your half-brother, ain't I? Remember the advice you used to give me about settling down? Well, I'm taking that advice. Fine. There's good grazing ground uh, a little further west. Uh, ain't even been touched yet. No. Uh, well, sir, this suits me fine. Right here. But I... I haven't got the room. Well, you wouldn't turn your brother out, would you, Joe? You, you're forgetting I've got two children. So why? We'll crowd in somehow. See, we ain't used to no Tony accommodations. We ain't ever done no stretch in jail. Eh, hey, boys? Don't, don't. Oh, I see. Never told the youngins, eh? Make yourself at home, boys. Does your old woman still make that good apple pie, Uncle Joe? My wife died last year. Oh, that's too bad. But that sickly kind of woman ain't much good out here. It's a rotten sofa. Oh, Margie. Margie. This is your Uncle Bill. And your cousins, Hope and Slim. Hello. Well, that isn't the nifty little piece of gingham. Yeah, they'll, they'll be staying on with us for a little while. And uh, so perhaps you, you you better put Bud into my room. And she can have the sofa. All right, Dad. That's the kind of a woman a man needs here. You boys put the horses away. Saw some mighty fine steers coming down the trail. They happen to be yours? No. No, they belong to the camps. I'm running just a few head down on the bottom. Oh, you won't ever get rich that way. We'll have to build up a big herd for you. No. I never went in for that sort of thing. You're entitled to all the cattle you can get your brand on. Now, there ain't nothing to get head up about. Your room's ready. Reckon I'll go to bed. Oh, 
Margie's the finest girl in Alamo County. What do you think, Father? Congratulations, son. Thanks, Dad. Thank you, too, Mother. Well, I, about time we all turned in. Yes. Well, good night. Good night, son. Well, I'm just going to leave these lay here till the morning. Well, look who's waiting up to kiss me good night. Ah, oh, let her alone. Let me go, will you? Take your hand off. Of Get out. Get out. You hear me? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, or I'll shoot. In here, both of you. You killed him. Ah, he'll be all right. I just want to teach him a lesson. Hey, Dad. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna need me for a couple of hours? No, why, so? I'd like to ride over and tell Margie that it's all right with you and Mother. All right, go ahead, Rod. You better stay here, partner. nothing to cry about. He's getting engaged. But he was only a boy yesterday, and today he's a man. <laughs> I know. They have a habit of growing up. But you're going to get a daughter. Look, Mother. Yep. He's a grown-up man now. <laughs> Take that into the kitchen. I want to talk to Margie. We've got to keep Rod out of this. I'm afraid they'll shoot him. Well, you must tell him to go away and keep away while they're here. Yes, but there's only one way to do that. And I can't hurt Rod. I can't. But you've got to. I can't. Well, all right. I'll talk to him. Hello, Sorkin. Hello, Margie. I see the wind blew a couple of tumbleweeds on your porch. Relatives of mine. Oh. Well, I won't hold that against you. <laughs> oh. You speak your mind pretty free, Mr. Kemp. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't uh, mean anything. Maybe you're getting to feel too much at home in this house. 
Now that I have kinfolk stopping on here with me, why, perhaps you'd better find some other place to do your loafing. Well, yesterday you said that, oh, Archie and I... Did you think I was in earnest? I've been laughing at you all along. <laughs> you, you've no idea how funny you look when you stick out that chest and try to act like a man. But when puppies get underfoot, they have to be kicked out. Eh, hey, Margie? Is that so, Margie? Goodbye, Rod. I won't go until you explain. You heard your orders. Yes. What's the matter, son? Is it Margie? Don't let that worry you. Your mother turned me down, too. Did she? Mm-hmm. A couple of times. But a man don't let that stop him. You're not saying that just to make me feel better, are you? No. In fact, I've been aiming to put you on regular wages, if you want to work for me. When do I start? Well, you might as well start right now. The boys have been telling me they've been missing some cattle down on the bottom. Let's find out where they straight do. Can I go? Sure. Come on. I wouldn't pack a gun yet, Rod. Well, the other men do. And I'm liable to need it. Guns got more men into trouble than it ever got out of trouble. The way to prove that you're a regular man is by your work. All right, Dad. That's the boy. Come on, partner. Come on.
Dad. Dad. Alamo County. Well, come right in, Sheriff. Howdy, Sheriff. Howdy, Joe. I'm Bill Larkins. Them's my boy. What can we do for you? Well, what you can do for most anybody at dinner time. Pull right up. There's plenty for both of you. I'm not hungry. Suit yourself, son. Say different? You don't have to get so touchy. Ain't nobody accusing you of rustling. But of course, if you want to act suspicious, you're bound to be suspected. Uh, we ain't worrying none, Sheriff. More meat? No, thanks. Reckon I got all I need. Well, good night, Sheriff. Drop in any time. Thanks. Maybe I will. Say, by the way, there's something else you can do for me. I broke the firing pin out of my carbine, and Rod here says you got a 30-30 rifle. Oh, that's my brother's gun. Hmm. Mind if I borrow it? Why? Why, no, of course not. Get your uncle's rifle from his room. for the loan. Is it in good working order? Oh, yes. Have you used it lately? No. Well, I say it had been fired today. Maybe one of your boys had the gun out hunting. They was with me all day. I'll swear to it. Who took this gun out of your daddy's room? Honest, Mitch, it wasn't me. And it wasn't her either, because she's scared of it. Maybe your daddy had it. Dad was home all day. None of your king folks had the gun? Not that I know of. I didn't think you were sighted in my daddy. Daddy, son, I'm doing the talking. Rod's a little excited. His father had an accident today. Somebody shot him. Did you say something, miss? No. Well, much obliged for the gun. I'll bring it back soon. I'd like to do some more talking, but Rod here is in a hurry to get back to his father. Rod, is your father badly hurt? I'm afraid he's dying. If that's any satisfaction to any of you.
Did you? Shut up. Now, don't you go hunting trouble with us. Suppose the sheriff traces that bullet back to your gun. You'll be needing our word to keep you out of jail again. The wagon's ready. Did you get plenty of blankets? The baby never had her salt or cradle, ma'am. Well, I'll help. You go and get your things on and pack your bag. We'll take care of your husband. Take him away, boys. How is he? He might fall through. Did you get the bullet out? Here? We must take him to the hospital to operate. Well, there goes my evidence. And you can't do anything? Not till I can prove the bullet come from this gun. Well, I can't even hold him for rustling until I got more to go by than fresh meat. And you can't do nothing to protect my boy? Looks like we'll just have to get him open up to hang themselves. They're ready, Mother. Oh, don't worry. I'll take care of everything. Why well, not worried about the ranch, son? It's you. Mrs. Pat. I'll tell them you'll be right out. Oh, I'm so afraid they'll make trouble. And you'll get hurt. I promise I won't start anything. Now oh, you must hurry, honey. Please. All right, son. Told you there was money in Russian. Now we're going to make a real cleanup. That old wagon of yours is going back to work. What are you aiming to do? I thought you wasn't interested in the cattle business. <laughs> Hook up them new Bronx boys. We're going to town for supplies. Margie, we've got enough. What's the matter, Margie? Oh, I jumped off the haystack and scared her. Wagon's ready. Let's go. Who's going to stay with the young ones? Yes, yes, I'll stay. No, we'll need you in town. You can handle the money and buy supplies without causing a lot of talk. Holt, how'd you like to stay with the young ones? Yeah. It's all right, Dad. I'll fix some lunch for you to eat on the way to town. Come help me, bud. Get the hot.
Come on, get out of the way here. Ah, uh, he'll be all right. Pick up them horses, Slim. And you're riding back with me. If it hadn't been for this young sprout, we'd have saved both you and the wagon. I reckon he owes us something, and I'm taking him back to pay it. What do you mean? Maybe he's got a wagon we can borrow. And he might lend us those supplies we was going to town for. Yeah. Come on, get going, you. Come on, shake it up. Get out of here. What happened to you? Why, just a bump. They do it? No. I've had no fight with them. I'm lending them our wagon and some supplies. Don't you know the sheriff figures? Him's the men that shot your dad? That hasn't been proven. We're not scared of them, are we, boys? No. I reckon we're trouble. Yeah? Then start it. If there's any shooting around here, that boy might get hurt. Accidental like. Yeah, bluff wins. It ain't no bluff. But as long as you're backing down, you might just well go all the way and hightail it out of here. You Ooh. mean leave the ranch? Yeah. I figure your boss here would be a lot safer without a lot of gunmen around, so get going. Out of my orders, boy. If you'll stop in town, my mother will pay you off. Well, I never thought I'd back down to any yellow-bellied coward who'd hit at me through a boy. We'll see you on your way. Get out of here. Goodbye, Rod. Margie, I have to talk to you. There isn't anything to say. Why did you take their sides against me? I can't tell you. Come on, Lachie. Thanks, kid. For everything. friends anymore. Ask Margie. But she wants to be friends with you. She told me to get out and stay away from her. Oh, uh, that was on your account, Rod. She talked it over with Dad, and they thought you'd get hurt if he kept coming around. And they knew Walton Slim were mad at you. Is that why she... Sure. Didn't... I heard it all. She's not mad at you, Rod. Then she still likes me. Why, she's thinking of you all the time. She's always looking at that picture of you in her locket. But she's so worried about you. She can't sleep at night. Say, Bud, you tell her that I'm not mad at her either. Will you? Sure I will. As soon as you get home...
Margie, I thought you got away. I was going after you. It's hopeless. Where's Bud? That's what I'd like to find out. I warned you to keep your young'uns in order. Now we're going to have a showdown. Rather than have any more trouble with you and your brats, I'm going to forget that I'm your brother. And I'm going to remember that I'm a good citizen. And send you back to Kansas to finish out your term in jail. No! So if you think so much of your father, you'll be a good girl and do what you're told. All right. Go ahead and do your chores. That was a good piece of business with young Camp. We ain't begun to make money off him. I don't know. I'm worried about the old man. Nobody's got anything on us. It means trouble if they get the bullet out of him. It come from our gun. Trouble for Uncle Joe. It's his rifle. But suppose the kid seen you with the gun. What of it? You shouldn't have done it, Holt. When Camp caught you blotting out his brand, what else could I do but shoot him? What was that? Do you hear what he was talking about? What are we going to do with her? There's one way we can keep our mouth shut. What do you mean? A wife can't testify against her husband. Go home, partner. Go home. Of the night. I went over to Ron. Was he all right? Uh-huh. And he said to tell you he wanted to be friends. Oh, Bud. Did he really? Sure. Do you think he really meant it? I know he did. And uh, he said to tell you he loved you. Oh, Bud. Well, that ain't nothing to cry about. I'm not crying about that. I'm crying because it's too late. But do you suppose Rod would come over here and take me away? Sure. Could you go back right away and tell him? I'll go back right now. Who's that? What happened, bud? Well, I was telling Margie what you said, and Hope woke up and I ran. You told Margie? Yeah, and she cried. 
But she cries a lot anyway. Most every night. Did she say anything? She wants you to come and take her away. I can't have any more trouble with your folks, bud. Got any shells? Horses are ready. All right, let's go to town. Come on, Marty. I'm sorry, Marty. Where did you get all these cartridges? Out of their guns. Their guns? All right, boys, keep your eyes peeled. Put your hands down, Orkin. I know what new. No. Old man camp's recovered and positively identified them kin folks of yours. Where are they? They have to ride in margin now. They have a town. Come on, boys. That kid will never be able to handle that gang.
What's the matter? He picked up a stone. You take my horse and go on to town. if he didn't get one of them. All right, boys, bring him in. Rod's saving us a lot of work, ain't he, boy? Looks like you're doing a pretty good job on this one. Come on, let's bring him in. that I was worried about you. Thanks, sir. 